Flare City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the kitchen for the long awaited what's in my pantry video, keto paleo edition. Because of what, last month we did the what's in my fridge and so many people in that video said, hey, can we do a part of your pantry? And I said, for sure. The thing is, this video is gonna be a little bonkers because we have so much stuff in our pantry in our two bedroom condo that it's gone from the kitchen. It's completely out of control. It's spilled over to the closet that has the shoes and the jacket. So we'll go over there too. Before we get rocking and rolling, this video is sponsored by a longtime sponsor of the channel, Thrive Market. If you're new to the channel, and a ton of you guys are this month, which has been amazing, Thrive is amazing. It's like all the stuff you would normally get at the grocery store that's organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, keto, paleo, but up to 30% cheaper. Plus, the box arrives to your door. You don't even have to go outside, which on a cold Chicago day is a great thing. But Thrive has a few things going on right now that really get me excited. Number one, they have super high quality seafood, beef, and pork. The pork is pasture raised next level from a Georgia farm called White Oaks Pasture. I'm gonna to talk to you about that in a minute. They also have the price scanner on the app. You can scan anything in the grocery store. It'll tell you if it's cheaper on Thrive or it gives you a better alternative. And once you shop on Thrive using my promo code down below, check out the deals page because when you spend a certain amount, I think it could be as little as 30 or 40 bucks, you get free swag. So guys, in the description box, they hooked us up with a great deal. If you sign up for a one-year membership, you get a $20 shopping credit. My link takes you to the pork bundle. I really want you to try that pork because you can't get that kind of stuff at the grocery store. And the good news is if for some reason you don't like Thrive Market, you can cancel in the first 30 days and get your money back, but you get to keep that $20 credit. Okay, let's start with the most widely used pantry door. What's behind door number one? It's a good thing we have our pantry uh, drawers here on sliding drawers because we use every square inch here. But I want to start with the drawer that I use the most and it'd be this. So this is the salt, vinegar, and really good extra virgin olive oil drawer. I love my salt. You guys know that. We have Himalayan pink salt. The deal at Costco is amazing. Uh, we have Celtic sea salt, kosher. We have Hawaiian uh, red salt there. We have gray salt, which is Celtic. And we have the Redmond real salt that I love too. Now here's the deal, if you go up here, this is the kind of salt I really don't want you guys cooking with. If you haven't heard me talk about this before, this is kosher salt, but more importantly, it's refined processed salt. If you think about iodized salt, this is the same. So whether it's the Morton's or the Diamond Crystal in the red box, this salt, it's kosher in size. So that refers to the size or cut of the, uh, the grain or the uh, crystal, but it's highly processed, refined, bleached, and has anti-caking agents in here. This is pure sodium chloride. This actually spikes your blood pressure and has no flavor. The beauty of using unrefined salt like this is that there can be up to 70 trace minerals in here. It actually tastes better, but get this, when you have the minerals combined with the sodium chloride, it does not spike your blood sugar near uh, blood pressure nearly as much as the regular salt. So it's better tasting and better for you. Swap to this. I'll put my two favorite uh, links down below. This stuff is fantastic. And then check this out. Right. I always have a little bit of raw apple cider vinegar in here because when you have the mother like that, that's a probiotic mother. So there's actually a uh, probiotic bacteria in here and it's got a great flavor. And then I have a couple bottles of really good extra virgin olive oil. So this is stuff I buy like at a really good store. You would never cook with this. This is a finishing oil, super, super high quality. I love to drizzle that over like keto fried rice or keto uh, like uh, salads or anything like that. Now, I just have this here for uh, instructional purposes. You might be like, what is Bobby doing with canola oil chemical spray? This is what I used to use about 10 years ago. And I have it here just for Instagram stories to say, hey, don't use that, use this. This is avocado oil spray. So you're subbing out nasty processed canola oil with heart healthy avocado, but you're also using non-propellant, no chemicals, high chemicals. So that's basically about it for this drawer. And then up here, we don't drink too much coffee. So like I'll have coffee on the weekend with my uh, Thrive Market bacon, keto pancakes and eggs. But during the week, I have a ton of tea. And so check this out. This is actually loose leaf tea. And this is a shop in Chicago. I wanna give them a shout out. They have really good coffees and spices and teas. But I always drink loose leaf tea. That's loose leaf tea. It's the whole tea leaf dried and then kept intact. If you get the stuff in the bags that's kind of small and powderized, like Lipton, my dad always used to have that growing up, that's the stuff you wanna avoid because those are inferior leaves that can be picked 
overripe, burnt, uh, crushed. I always oftentimes joke that that's the stuff on the bottom of the floor of the plant. The janitor's kind of sweeping into his dustpan and they put it into the uh, bag. That's not what you want. Whole leaf tea is the way to go. It's superior in terms of flavor and texture. And in this company, there are huge Flav City fans out of Toronto, right? Roasted with love in Toronto. Thank you for sending that. I can't wait to try some of that. And then come down here. You guys know I love my spices. So Desi just Marie kondo our spice rack here and got these small ones on Amazon because they're more ergonomical than my old spice tins. But I always buy one to two ounces of spices at a time and then I go through them and then I replenish them. Why do I do that? Because we talked about this in the spice video the other week. When you grind spices, just like coffee beans, they're ticking time bombs, right? They have volatile essential oils in there. And after about three months, the flavor starts to go downhill. After 12 months, I would just chuck them and get new ones. So buy one or two ounces, then replenish. Spices are all about flavor. And I call it free flavor because there's basically no fat and no calories in here. So you want to have these as amped up in flavor as possible. And then down here are, well, this is my, one of my favorite things on Thrive Market. So when you use my promo code and down below, it'll take you to the pork bun bundle, but you need a fat to cook pork in. This, you guys, is the Thrive Market organic grass-fed ghee. I wish we had smell-o-vision right now because smell that, right? That smells and tastes like movie theater butter, except it's not made with you know, refined, processed, hydrogenated oils. This stuff is amazing and the price is right, which is why I stock up on it. I'll show you in a second. And then I have stuff like Tamari Goju Chang, which I finally got after you guys convinced me uh, from the Asian condiments video last week. Uh, and then a little bit of rice wine vinegar and Tabasco and stuff like that. And then up here, we're crazy about tacos, but we do paleo tacos, meaning there's no grain, no corn in our shells. Well, I love the siete ones. And what makes it grain free is that they use cassava, avocado oil, pumpkin seed meal. Very cool. My only knock on these is that they're a little brittle. They tend to break, which is why I recently got the Thrive Market one. I saw on uh, Instagram, they have grain free taco shells. The first time I had it, I didn't love it. But then I actually toasted it for a bit longer, five minutes, and it was perfect. And I'd say the flavor is not quite as good, in my opinion, as Siete, but it's way sturdier. It won't be wimpy, wimpy, wimpy and crush up when you eat it. So I love these and the price is cheaper. And then even though we're a keto paleo household, we do love pasta once, once in a while. I mean, right, you gotta have your pasta fix, but we never eat enriched wheat macaroni. We'll eat a gluten-free whole grain. So this is pow pasta. And if you look at the ingredients here, it's two, it's lentil flour and quinoa flour. We've talked about this a bazillion times, but if you haven't heard before, if you're gonna eat grains like a pasta, make sure it's a whole grain. So if you're eating whole wheat pasta, that's fine. We don't eat any wheat in the house, we're gluten-free. So whole bean pasta uh, and complex carbohydrates. Don't get pastas that are made with white rice flour and corn because that's just simple carbohydrates that offer no nutrition. Quinoa and red lentils actually have a ton more nutrition and this brand is delicious. All right, so that's it for this one. Let's go to the secret compartment on the side where things have spilled over there. All right, ready for the secret cabinet here? This used to be empty, but then as our pantry grew and grew, it has gone into the, uh, the secret pantry. This is the benefit of my job, right? A lot of brands that are Bobby approved send me awesome stuff that I can't say no to, right? So we have to find places to put them. So uh, starting up here, well, first of all, Desi's mom sends us amazing raw honey from Bulgaria. We love this stuff. I'm not quite sure if that's legal, but I'm assuming you guys won't tell anyone. Uh, one of the perks Thrive Market always gives me when checking out is the option to get an organic nut butter, whether almond or peanut, for free, because I spend $49 every time. So look for that on the deals page. I have a bunch of really good Asian sauces here. I have uh, coconut aminos. I have some uh, Mexican salsa verde. And then down here, there's a lot of stuff, right? So what I say about the Thrive Market ghee, I love it. The box that came last week, one, two, three of those. So I'm not messing around. This stuff is legit. So I want you to check that out. We have some coconut mana. So we use this to make a lot of the keto fat breads and keto bagels. A lot of people get confused. They say, oh, can I use coconut oil or coconut cream? Mana is another word for butter. So basically this is the coconut version of peanut butter, right? You cannot use coconut oil or coconut cream. It's a bit expensive, but it is cheaper on uh, Thrive Market. And then 
We have our mayonnaises here, Primal Kitchen, Keto Mayonnaise from Shows and Foods. But look at this, Thrive makes coconut oil mayonnaise that I like. And I like to experiment sometimes. So this is really cool to have in the pantry. And then coconut milk. You guys know my two favorite coconut milks. I'm on the record saying this a million times are from Trader Joe's and Thrive Market. Why? Because look at the ingredients here. It's just coconut milk and water. That's it. These are the only two brands on the market that I've seen that don't use gums or emulsifiers or guar gum. Why is that important? Well, when you can avoid gums, do it. Too many gums in your diet can upset your tummy and cause intestinal issues. But a lot of the ones on the market, even premium ones, use, gu use gums and fillers. Get this, it's way, way better. And then, oh, but here's something that's not edible, but this is mineral oil. So check this out, Art. Especially in the winter, my cutting boards get very dry. Look at the surface of my big cutting board here. It's pretty dry and getting brittle. You can actually see it in this one better. Look how dry, I'm way overdue. So go to a store, get food grade mineral oil from any hardware store and rub it on here. It's very important in the winter to do that, to season your board. And the reason why this is up here is every morning I have collagen peptides in my, uh, on my tea. And you know I like the unflavored one from Costco, but I love this one too. This is the Thrive Market grass-fed collagen peptides. I take two of these every day. I have one in my jasmine green tea in the morning, and then I have a second one in my post-workout smoothie, which once we get to the shoes closet, I'll show you what's in there. So definitely scoop that, scoop the pork, and scoop the ghee. And I think that's it for here. Let's move over to the, uh, the scary shoes closet now. All right, before we go into that closet, I just want to show you that pasture-raised pork I was talking about. This stuff is next level. So here's the pork chops, and here's the bacon. You guys, this pasture-raised pork is not only from the small family farm in Georgia, it is, has a supplemental feed of peanuts, acorns, and pasture-raised eggs, because sometimes the eggs are hatched and they're cracked. They give it to the pork or the pigs. This stuff is non-GMO. Gap for certified. You cannot find any pasture raised pork in the grocery store. Everything is commercially factory farmed, uh, kind of pig pen, hog pen stuff, GMO fed. This is amazing, which is why I want you to use the $20 shopping credit when you sign up for the year long membership for the pork bundle. I think you're gonna love it. And the link down below when you sign up takes you straight to here. So definitely check it out. If you follow me on Instagram, I make this bacon every weekend and I love it. All right, the closet formerly known as the coat closet is now the keto and paleo pantry. <laughs> Let's start with the shelf that I use the most. This is my post-workout smoothie shelf, and this is one of my favorite plant-based protein powders. It's from Four Sigmatic, and it's a plant-based, super clean protein powder with functional superfood mushrooms. So check out the ingredients there. Like unbelievable stuff, no sweetener, no natural flavors, Really, really, actually there's a touch of coconut sugar, but it's barely anything. We have a nice amount of protein here. This is what you wanna see if it is pricey, but next month I believe they're having their semi-annual sale and I will have a promo code, so hold off on that. And then, you know, I love my collagen. So in my post-workout smoothie, I don't always use the uh, Thrive Unflavored. I'll use something flavored like, this is a brand new product coming out next month. It's peanut butter collagen fuel and it's grass-fed collagen peptides with real peanut butter powder sweetened with monk fruit. Unbelievable product. These are the only guys who do flavored collagen peptides that don't use natural flavors. They are literally the goat, right? They're awesome. And then I wanna get some MCTs in there, so I'll just use MCT oil powder. Really good for energy, really good for your memory, really good for a brain booster. And then if I need an extra mushroom boost, this is a mushroom blend mix. Really, really strong but I'm all about functional mushrooms. I really believe in their power for your memory, your brain, your focus, your immune system, stuff like that. And then we come right here. If you wanna sweeten or get a chocolatey kind of uh, smoothie without adding sugar, so this is the Thrive Market Organic Cacao. Cacao AO, that's completely raw, unprocessed. When you see it OA, that's processed and cooked. So I like the raw one, and you can add that to smoothies. I'm working on a recipe for sugar-free keto uh, hot chocolate, and it would have this. It would have some coconut milk powder, some monk fruit, and a little bit of uh, 
maybe cinnamon and stuff like that. And then even though we're a keto paleo household, once in a blue moon, we need some rice, we need some grains. So this is Desi's kind of go-to's. If you actually follow me on Instagram stories, I made red lentil coconut curry last week and it was delicious, right? So if you're gonna eat carbs, make sure they're complex and make sure they're delicious. And that was so good. And then this is Desi's paleo baking rack here. We have monk fruit sweetener. We love that stuff. It's a one-to-one -one replacement with uh, sugar, zero calorie, zero carb. We just ordered a ton of arrowroot starch on uh, Thrive Market, which is why we have three of them here. Have a little bit of coconut flour, which is not a one-to-one -one sub with co uh, almond flour because this is much drier. We have the huge tub of extra virgin coconut oil. It has more of a coconutty flavor. If you don't want the coconut flavor, get refined coconut oil. It's a little more processed, but it doesn't have that flavor. I don't mind it. I love the virgin stuff. And then let's come down to the lower section here. This is one of my favorite boxes because it has amazing elixirs and coffees in here. We talked about this in other videos, but Laird InstaFuel, this is the guy who's that famous surfer. He has a coffee instant mix that is next level organic coffee, coconut milk, uh, coconut oil, and it's one of the most tasty mixes ever. I don't really drink too much black coffee anymore because it kind of upsets my stomach and makes me sweat for some reason, but this is fantastic. And then I usually cut it in the weekends with a tablespoon of the hot chocolate mix that has reishi mushrooms, best and probably one of the cleanest cafe mochas out there. Uh, what else do I have in here? So on the weekends, I'll have the Thrive Market pasture-raised pork, the InstaFuel. These guys are gangbusters. They make these keto pancake mix with clean Bobby-approved ingredients, only two net carbs per serving. And I'm telling you guys, I put these sugar-free Lily's chocolate chips in there. Oh my God, I only do it on the weekends. It is so good. I would highly recommend that. And then it's not out yet, but where is this? Oh, here we go. The Primal Kitchen, they're about to release this chai tea latte collagen mix with black tea that tastes so good. Uh, when it comes out, I'll share a link for that. And then, like I said, I got a lot of perks to my job. These guys sent me some really good organic bone broth, which I prefer to make my own, but sometimes I'm out of it. Epic sent me a ton. Let me move Desi's slippers of the chicken sriracha bars. These are keto and paleo. These Siete chips, right? They're paleo grain free. They're the dip chips. So they're kind of circular and have more structure to them. They sent them to me. They're awesome and they don't break. I don't know if they're in stores. I got to find out, but those are great. Check out my basket here. I love this, uh, obviously the collagen water here with the natural uh, strawberry and lemon juice. And I have a little bit of Four Sigmatic Mushroom Focus Shots here. These are really good. They have uh, turmeric and pineapple here. And then I'm just going to grab quinoa. Now, quinoa technically is a pseudo seed. So it's not paleo, but I love quinoa. I'll make a breakfast bowl out of it. I'll boil it in water. I'll strain it like I do pasta after 13 minutes of cooking. I'll add coconut milk, coconut cream, fresh fruit. And this paleo granola from Kirby Elizabeth is crazy. We talked about this in a recent video. So it's paleo granola, meaning it has no grains, it has no oats, but look at these ingredients, you guys. Nuts, seeds, coconut sugar, which is a low glycemic paleo sweetener, real vanilla extract. This stuff is phenomenal. I'll put that on top of my quinoa bowl and it's so darn tasty. And what else is down here? I think that's about it. So I definitely need to organize this and uh, Marie Kondo it, but that's it for the pantry slash shoe closet. All right, someone woke up from her nap just in time for the end of the video. Rose, wait till you see the footage. Our pantry is stocked to the gills, so we number one need to organize, and number two, we need to get a new house, right? Desi and I wanna to move to a new place in Chicago that's way bigger, cause I want a walk-in pantry. I want a space for your Rose to have a little baby uh, kitchen, cause I want her to cook alongside of me, and I don't wanna to have to put things next to the shoes, okay? If, there's a, if this was a uh, public restaurant, that'd be a health code violation number one. Um, but we hope you inspired you. Uh, we hope we inspired you to get some of the cool stuff that we showed here. Maybe you want to overhaul your pantry. The key is to have all the stuff on hand. That way, when you want to make stuff, you can do it at a moment's notice. So guys, check out Thrive Market using my link in the description box. Uh, get the year-long membership. 
use the $20 credit to the pasture raised pork box. I think you're going to love that. Um, big thank you to them for sponsoring the video. We got two more videos going below us right now, but Rose and I and Desi and Art will see you soon. Until then, we say into you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Later. Mwah.